the ring boy scandal was one of the the darkest stories you can find in pro wrestling's history one of the people who were coordinating to bring in these ring boys was a ring announcer named mel phillips the ring announcer approached me after the show he said uh, they were going to philadelphia would i like to go he'd stand outside the car while all the little kids were playing and show them the belts like he always pulled out the belts i was uh 13 years old when i met mel phillips actually i did say uh i recognize you you're mel phillips the ring announcer he said he wanted me to do him a favor and i followed him into the dressing room once that door was closed he just assaulted me threw me down on the ground got on top of me he asked me you want to go inside and you could see all the wrestlers and you know i was thrilled he asked me to take my clothes off you can tell I'm shaking right now thinking about it. It started out just your toes. Then he'd basically make you cry almost and submit. But once you're flat on the floor or on the bed, you're stuck. Famously, Tom Cole was one of the, the victims who had been abused by Mel Phillips and later was propositioned by Terry Garvin, who was a uh, vice president with the company as well. This was a group of men that were executives. Terry Garvin, that was the underboss to Pat Patterson, who was the vice president. And Pat Patterson was the boss. He was the guy back there. A horrific abuse of power. People being put in place in holding positions for years years and decades in some cases because they were some of Vince's boys and and Vince taking care of his boys. Mel would get the boys when they were 13 and he would groom them and some of them he groomed to bring up the line to Terry. It was like a baton they were passing. And this was a major scandal in the early 90s. I was grabbed on numerous occasions in my on my testicles on my buttocks by Pat Patterson of the World Wrestling Federation. And uh, Terry Garvin propositioned me when I was 16, offered me cocaine and all kinds of drugs to uh, have sex with him. Linda McMahon was, you know, part and parcel with Vince McMahon in terms of the goings on in the company. And, you know, absolutely was very connected with Tom Cole. My brother said, no, Vince, all I want to do, I, he goes, I just wanted to work for you guys. And you guys chased me away. When I was 16, Terry Garvin did this to me. So Vince said, okay, I won't hire them back. He let all three of them go at that time, Mel Phillips, Terry Garvin, and uh, Pat Patterson. So they were out of the company. Mel Phillips was temporarily let go by the company and then brought back with the warning to stay away from the ring boys. It's just unbelievable to, that they would keep someone like that around a child molester. When the scandal came out with the kids, they got evidence. They got a tape. They wrote a couple reports. They called him a predator in the report. They called him a pedophile in the report. You had kids out there that were waiting for the feds to come to them to ask them questions. The feds never showed up. Vince McMahon, one of the biggest names in the entertainment industry, has once again stepped down after accusations of rape, assault, and human trafficking. Let's not forget this wasn't just Vince McMahon. This was a mass conspiracy of many people destroying many lives within an organization. No injured me. He hurt me. Caused me a lot of rage, suicidal thoughts. It's embarrassing to say that you been molested. He destroyed me. I'm shaking right now thinking about it. I don't trust no one in this world. My brother-in-law called me and told me that Tom hung himself. To this day, I hear Tom's voice. Please let them know what they did to me. To this day, I try to figure out what did we do to fall into that trap. But you can't hide forever. The truth always comes out. They should have looked out for the kids and they didn't.